Springfield Road, a poet's childhood revisited. These are the memories of my life as a child. This is the story of the world before I was here, the universe I was born into. This is the memoir of our family home in Hastings. And as I read this letter, I'll share some pictures of the times, who we were, pictures of my parents, my mother, the go-go dancer, my father, the charming jazz musician, my grandparents and siblings, and the world of Sesame Street, half-penny sweets and scrumping for apples. Set in Thatcher's Britain, this memoir is a salute to every scabby-kneed, mixed-up kid struggling on free school meals and being bullied for having an afro, wearing NHS glasses and hand-me-downs. This is the story of home, the story of my absent father, Paul Godden, this is the story of the resilient women in my family, my mother, my grandmothers who were both NHS nurses, my siblings. It is a story rooted in love, a story of survival and a reminder to hold on tight to your integrity and dreams. Springfield Road is a time machine to a world where shopkeepers smoke fags while serving you slabs of warm cheese, where fish and chips are served in newspapers where we record the top ten off the radio onto cassette tapes. We all play outside in the streets, interacting without crash helmets or the internet. I have captured something of that era for those too young to remember and for those old enough to know. This is a vital, uplifting memoir that shares heart and humour, colour and tenderness. And when you read it, you may meet your childhood self too and say, hey... I remember that too. You might say, I remember how summers were longer and how oranges were bigger. I remember struggling to comprehend sex and war, life and death, heaven and hell. And perhaps you'll say, I remember, I missed my dad too. Springfield Road, a poet's childhood revisited. Coming soon with Canongate Books. Thank you.